Hey guys, welcome back to another VMAX episode. <laughs> this time we get a view from a rear end. Nice, isn't it? Um, okay, now we know the bike is running. Let's change the oil on it, shall we? It's not a how-to video, um, it's not a how-to video, <laughs> basically, I'm gonna learn as we uh, go along, changing oil on the bike should be pretty straightforward, especially on the older one like the VMAX, I got a new filter and I got 4 litres of oil, because it takes 3.6 litres, um, oil is slightly, the filter is slightly different than the regular ones I changed before, but it's uh, no rocket science, I hope, <laughs> right, let me crack on with that shit. Right guys, so um, every time I play with Unknown, which is that type of filter for me, um, oil filter, I never replaced the one like this before. This is the first time. Uh, I always like to take a bit of time, just like with everything else really that is kind of unknown, and take time remembering or laying things down as they come out of the original assembly. That's assuming the what was on the bike was put together correctly by the previous owner. So I will double check it against the manual. But anyway, there's like a flat washer on top. Then right underneath, it seems like it's a, a rubber ring, kind of O-ring. It's probably a sealing unit. It's pretty good condition. So that's not underneath. And then we got the actual filter itself. Right, there is a rubber o-ring inside a filter, I'm not sure whether the filter comes with it or not, I'm gonna put it just here on the side, the way it came out. And last but not least we've got a spring in the assembly that's obviously pushing that filter against, against that thing over there, and that is it. This assembly is completed with the screw that's connected to the bolt on the outside some clever connections going on inside is like a spring preloaded spring with a not quite sure what's inside don't really want to take it apart uh, it's working so I just leave it be I think <laughs> ain't broken don't fix it right so this bad boy is now lovely and clean um, Let's recap this video a little bit because uh, what was happening over here, the original assembly was um, spring, the o-ring, filter, the other o-ring and the metal washer on top. I was assuming that was okay, but it wasn't. Luckily I checked the manual and um, I guess that's the reason why the uh, o-ring 
looks like it looks you know it's completely mashed the spring was actually pushed inside because what's happening the spring sits on top of that o-ring over here which is just soft rubber against metal it ain't gonna work properly is it that's why you read the manual and this little washer simple metal washer goes directly on top of the spring right here and now the washer sits against my brand new filter and it's protecting the uh, the rubber o-rings over here there's no point of the rubber washer being here on the back going towards the engine because there's metal already over there so that's basically creating a seal this washer being on this end towards the engine side it serves no purpose if anything it makes it worse so the washer goes on the spring a little things you learn by uh, reading the manual amazing how much it's uh, it's useful hey <laughs> RTFM Read the fucking manual Alright, let's put it back together Now the filter is back in um, back in the bike. Uh, time to install the sand plug back in. But that's a funny looking thing. Uh, does anybody know why it's got a screw head like a Phillips head, as well as I think it's 19 mil socket? Um, I don't know. I've never seen one like this before. Any of you know? Drop me a comment below. Let me know. Maybe I can be educated of some something like this. Never mind, let's put it back on the bike. And while we underneath the bike and we got some light, <laughs> got a question for you guys. <laughs> what is that kind of spring thingy for here? Anybody know? I'm not sure if it's important or not. But it looks like it's just um, uh, connected to Get some more light in there. To that allen head bolt over there that goes to the uh, bottom of the sump of the engine. What is the purpose of that spring? Anybody here? Anybody know? Well, I don't. <laughs> Let me know if you know. And just like that, without any surprises apart from that little washer inside the um, the carnister for the um, oil filter. It was placed originally in the wrong position, but luckily uh, we rectified that situation. Uh, so we got fresh oil in my VMAX. One step closer to properly put it back on the road. And I'm going to spend the rest of my evening looking for one Allen key, which I misplaced somewhere in this garage. 
don't you just fucking hate that? I mean, the more, the worst thing after losing shit, the drop and hit on the floor, and it, that disappears to a different dimension. You work with a tool. You got a spanner, or a screwdriver. You work with it, and you put it somewhere on the side, and it fucking disappears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure uh, I'm not the only one who suffers from that problem. Right guys, uh, I'm, as I said, I'm going to spend the rest of my eternity looking for that Allen key which I placed somewhere over here working on the bike. And on the next episode of VMAX we're going to do something else. I'm not quite sure what it's going to be but uh, fork oils, uh, fork seals need changing, coolant need changing, uh, brakes need uh, bleeding and probably replacing the fluid and maybe some other bits and pieces we can uh, think of but until then guys thank you very much for watching rock hard have a beer and i'll see you very soon